We are in a housing crisis. We aren't building enough homes and we aren't building enough affordable homes. Home prices are rising and people cannot stay here or move here if they want to. Most of my friends who grew up in Montgomery County don't live here anymore because they can't afford it. The key purpose of this bill is to make sure that each and every time we have a recreation center that we are building or rebuilding, that we have a library that we are building or rebuilding, that we take a serious look to see whether or not we can have housing as part of that project. When we talk about these public benefits, a recreation center or a library, we're talking about benefits for the public, for the community. But we have an opportunity every time we build a rec center, every time we build a library, to create a community in and of itself. And housing at the same site and using our own county land to be more deeply affordable housing. Housing that will impact people who are making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, but who have the right to live in this county that is so expensive. This is so important because Montgomery County has to build 47,500 homes over the next decade. And that is a number that the Council of Governments has provided us as the county, as the state, and as the region continue to grow. And we know that we have a housing crisis on our hands where we don't have enough houses, we don't have enough places for people to live, and those that we have are extremely expensive. Half of Montgomery County households are housing cost burden, paying more than 30% of their income toward housing costs. What's more, over 20,000 renter households in the county pay more than half of their incomes toward rent. Every day, these families must make impossible choices between paying for housing and paying for other critical priorities, such as education, healthcare, and reliable transportation. We also face significant challenges ensuring affordable and equitable homeownership options. In Montgomery County, we have a 32% gap between white, white households who own their homes and black and African American households who own their homes. That gap is bigger than the national average. Neighbors are our support systems, our community, our babysitters, our faith leaders, and family and friends. And so we're all stronger when we say yes to having those people in our communities and saying yes to affordable housing. Mm -hmm.